Hey, Instagram Live, it's Karen. How are you? I wanted to do a reading with you, um, Courage to Change. So let's get to it, shall we? Courage to Change. All right. Once again, I have not read this. I'm going to read it with you. Then we'll see what we can get out of it, okay? What is today? June 22nd or June 23rd? Well, I'm going to read the 23rd because I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's the 23rd. Yeah, yeah, it's the 23rd. Okay, ready? June 23rd. The courage to be honest with ourselves is one quality we can cultivate to help our spiritual growth. It takes commitment to honesty to admit that someone we love has a drinking problem. That alcoholism and many other things are beyond our control. That there is a source of help greater than ourselves and that we need the care of that higher power. Honesty allows us to look at ourselves, to share our discoveries with God and others, to admit that we need spiritual help in moving forward, and to free ourselves by making amends for past wrongs. We need to be truthful with ourselves as we continue to review our attitudes and actions each day. This allows us to be humble enough to reach out to others as equals and to continue to grow in every area of our lives. Where do we find the courage to be so honest with ourselves? The courage to change the things we can is found in our continuous developing relationship with a power greater than ourselves. Today's reminder, I know that honesty is an essential part of the 12 steps. I am willing to be more honest with myself today. Well, that is a great reading and it's very uh, poignant. Uh, The one thing I think that alcoholism, the disease of alcoholism, across the board, a consistent trait of alcoholism, whether you have alcoholism, someone you love has alcoholism, someone that works for you that has alcoholism, you work for someone with alcoholism, right? Your neighbor has alcoholism. Whatever that is, wherever alcoholism is, there is dishonesty. Now, I don't always think that dishonesty is deliberate with alcoholism. Alcoholism is so painful and it is so powerful that I think our own mode of survival lends us to be delusional, right? It leads us to rationalize and justify things that normally we wouldn't do. So if you have someone in your life that you love and they start crossing that invisible line a lot of times we we make excuses. Well, you know, he's been under a lot of stress. This pandemic's been hard on him. She just lost her job, right? She uh, she's she she's heartbroken. You know what I mean? There's just all these things we start rationalizing and justifying, and I don't think it's deliberate dishonesty. It is really hard to be honest about. Your powerlessness, I will say, whether it's, <clears throat> you know, that someone in your life is drinking and using. I know myself, listen, I have had people in my life uh, that were using and I did not want to believe it. I didn't. Somehow, though, deep down in the little, 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 little part of my tummy, I knew but I lied to myself. I lied to myself about how bad it was, what was really happening, right? Um, I just kept lowering the bar of expectation. I wanted it so bad to be the way I wanted it to be. And it was impossible to get honest about the situation. You know, it, it's really, it was really hard. In fact, you know, this one situation that I'm talking about, it was only because I started helping this other girl and she was in not the similar situation, but she was in a situation where <clears throat> I didn't think she should be, you know what I mean? <clears throat> and I thought she should leave and I thought she should fess up and I thought she should be honest with herself. And when I saw that in her, I clearly saw it in me. I thought, you know what, you got to do something. You got to quit lying to yourself. 
you got to somehow, you know, this is wrong. You know, it's not getting better. You know, this is all bad, right? And you're not gonna be able to do anything about it by yourself. So find some help and stop this charade, right? The powerlessness that I couldn't change somebody, that I couldn't love them out of where they were at. You know, that being able to love someone right where they're at um, and leave them alone. But then when I was done, I had to be done. No more rationalization or justification. And I think that kind of honesty, it just comes with some time. I don't think sometimes that you can do it right away. I think it takes what it takes. And I know for me, I couldn't see it until I saw it in someone else. So that's why it's really important if you're going through something to get in a support group where you can see other people and you can see what they're going through because you can clearly see it in their lives. You might not be able to see it in yours. Okay? So Al-Anon, Naranon, fantastic programs. If you're helping other people too, you're going to learn a lot through that. So ask God for courage. It's okay to pray for courage. All right? I love you all. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.